Well, the Turkish Coast Guard announced this weekend it is actively stopping migrants attempting to cross the Aegean Sea, citing the dangers of this journey. Now, this comes as tensions remain high on the country's borders with Greece after Turkey opened the crossings to those trying to get to Europe. Last week, EU officials praised the Greek government and pledged nearly $800 million in aid to help Greece keep the border secure. But Greek forces are once again accused of brutal tactics in pushing back refugees and migrants to Turkey. CNN's Germana Karace reports now from the Turkish-Greek border. They were desperate for Europe. But Europe didn't want them. Sent back to Turkey, stripped of their clothes, ID documents, and their dignity. These men from Pakistan, Morocco, and Syria say they were violently pushed back by Greek security forces. We can't verify the conditions in which this video from Turkish state broadcaster TRT was filmed, but human rights groups have documented dozens of similar testimonies from refugees in recent years. Thousands have made it across this river to Greece, Many of them have come back with shocking accounts of what they've been through. 20-year-old Abdelaziz has been walking for hours, barefoot. We found him and his friends on the road in the Turkish border city of Ederne. They say Greek security forces caught them shortly after they crossed into Greece illegally. It was the military or police, he tells us. They were carrying weapons. They took all our clothes. We were left in our underwear. They took our phones, our money and documents. They burnt the IDs and clothes, he tells us. He claims they were beaten up, lined up on the ground and kicked with combat boots. Greek authorities have repeatedly denied using these brutal pushback methods or excessive force. The government says Greece has the right to defend its borders from illegal crossings. It's also doing so on behalf of Europe. During our time at the border, we heard many similar stories. Everybody from Afghanistan? We met this group of Afghan refugees, exhausted, yet determined. Hamid carried his baby boy through the river and fields. After walking for five hours, he says they were caught by Greek security. They beat us with some, like uh, it was a stick, and then they deported us back. Did they beat you up? Yes. My, the, my, my wife, they beat this, 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 this police officer. So they hit you and they hit your wife? Yes, yes, everything. Hamid says people don't choose to become refugees. <laughs> we want to... Uh, my children big, uh, um, become big in the good area and could have good life. In their pursuit of that good life, thousands have found themselves pawns on a political chessboard between Turkey and the EU. Uh, Turk army is say go Greeks. Uh, I try one time, uh, but Greek army say us uh, go back, go back Istanbul, uh, take over money, mobiles. We come here with only underwear. What is this? We are, we are all like a ball and both countries are like a bat. They're playing game with us. No one here knows how this game will end, but they say nothing will stop them from trying to make it to Europe. Jumana Karachi, CNN on the Turkish-Greek border.